So we're in the Burlington Arcade now. We are indeed. We've travelled. And uh, the Burlington Arcade in this formation was built around 1810? Something like that, yes. Um, but it's a very interesting concept. The whole idea about the arcade, any arcade, so you could actually shop and move around at leisure and parade and dandy about and dandy at about. Uh, without getting your feet wet. That's right, and that was the, the principle upon which Dorothy Savile, uh, Queen of the Dan Desserts, built the first incarnation of this arcade, which came off what was the, the Burlington House, which is now the Royal Academy, but was uh, at the time Burlington House. She was the Countess of Burlington and Cork, and in order for her husband, she didn't like to think of her husband's slippers getting wet when he went out of the morning to buy his tobacco, so she built the, Bur the first Burlington Arcade. Uh, in about, it was certainly here in 1710 when Handel arrived because he speaks of walking through it on his way to visit her. She was one of his patrons, well, his major patron. If you could sum up um, this lovely, wonderful, inspiration lady in three words, what would you say? Beauty, art, and larks. Mm, that's all you need, really, isn't it? She was an artist in her own right, often did caricatures of her friends, which included Queen Charlotte, uh, Handel, whom she was his main patron, um, who else? Well, pretty much all the dandies, dandesettes, eccentrics and artists and writers and composers at the time who needed a bit of a financial helping hand, she was there to offer it. And the arcade she built, Savile Row, which was at the time, I'm just going to go and sit down for my shoes clean. Oh, thank you. These are crocodile. That's fine, then. Uh, so we will we take them off. Yes, exactly. Yes. Thank you. So I'm having my shoes uh, cleaned at the moment in the Burlington Arcade, a tradition which has been going on since the, Burling the third Burlington Arcade, the one we're currently in, uh, has been opened. Um, so here's the gentleman, very skilled, uh, and he's polishing my crocodile, bespoke crocodile shoes, which were once very high heeled. I don't know if you can see, they've only got an inch now. And uh, I had my shoemaker, my bespoke cordwainer, uh, uh, cut them down, which in, required the complete re rebuilding of them, reconstruction. You can't just have your shoes uh, made uh, shorter. You can't buy a pair of Jimmy Choo's and chop them down when you wish they were lower. But yes, so the Burlington Arcade was first, the first incarnation was built off Burlington House in uh, uh, 1710. And uh, Burlington Street, as it was then, was full of, well, they had a school on it, uh, Burlington School for Girls, Burlington School for uh, Gentlemen. And she also encouraged Henry Poole and other tailors, bootmakers to, uh, to uh, assemble there, to set up shop there, so that her husband and indeed all her male guests would uh, find it convenient to uh, to uh, visit her. They could have their fittings taken and then go in and uh, have a cup of tea or a saucer of champagne with the Countess, but Countess of Burlington and Cork or her lovely house, doting husband whose slippers she was so keen to keep dry.